What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we've got the brand new Foot Freeze Martinez to review today. A card that looks very good by a player that I have actually reviewed in the past. I gave his inform an 8.4 out of 10 I believe it was and I absolutely despised his passing ability. For some odd reason his passing was not spot on. It was just off every single time. Now, they have actually increased the passing stats on the card. But I want to talk about the short passing and long passing in a minute. Trust me, you're going to want to know this. Well, when it comes down to comparing to his inform, he's got plus 6 pace, plus 6 dribbling, and plus 5 to passing. Every other stat, for example, shooting, minus 1, defending, minus 1, and minus 5 to physicals as well. He is going for 417,000 coins, while his 86 inform is only going for 80. 4k is there really that big of a difference between the two that is what i'm going to try to figure out today now he is obviously a five foot nine player which is not going to matter to me high low work rates will pretty much mean especially in a right wing position they will be very high up on the pitch every single time ready for those quick counter attacks four star four star you know i'm never going to complain about that now the chem star for him is hawk the reason i've gone for hawk is because i feel like it's perfect i feel like it really solves all the issues that he's kind of having on his card because short power we all know 81 is not great let's all be fair right obviously the strength gets boosted when it got minus five you got aggression going back up yes the passing is still absolutely terrible but once again we're gonna have to deal with it but yeah it's got 97 acceleration and 96 sprint speed insanely fast shooting ability is 91 attacking positioning 92 finishing with the 91 shot power does he have any shooting traits he does not he's got 85 long shots it's 84 volleys with the 80 penalties and this is where it gets tricky this is where i don't get where they're getting a plus five from boys let me tell you right now okay he's short passing on his inform is 81 how has it gone down it's a plus five H how has it gone down his long passing went up by plus one so the biggest problem i would say about this card was his passing and you say you gave us a plus five on the card but you didn't give us the right stats you yes you boosted the crossing by how much 58 to 82 you do the math because trust me i'm not great at it right crossing went up by a huge huge amount curve went up by a huge amount but the thing was i needed a short passing to go up i needed a long passing to go up but they left that out and i'm like what was happening here you're telling me you gave a plus five on the card but you gave a minus one to short passing what, what happened what happened by moving over 94 agility 85 balance 92 reactions 92 ball control 95 dribbling with the 91 composure he should feel really 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 good on a ball physicals now obviously as you know it went down by i believe it was minus five but with the hawk chem style it kind of just goes straight back up he's got 96 jumping 86 heading accuracy 75 stamina which is something i'm not going to enjoy 75 stamina giving it a minus five boys is like come on man you he already had 80 stamina which is barely enough to last for the whole 90 minutes now you're giving him 75 that's a tough one now he has got 86 strength and 94 aggression as well when it comes down to links i've gone for simple links aguero gomez simple as that i've also got likes of sosoko Allen, and jota in this team i will be using martinez in his quote unquote natural position aka the position change in a 4-2-3-1 down the line but i do want to try him in a striker position as well in a 4-4-2 but let's get into the games so let's actually see how he feels on a ball nice nice okay that is but i'm gonna be honest that is better than his inform i did notice that his inform was quite agile but it wasn't extremely agile it wasn't like on a whole new level but this martinez right here i can 100 say feels better already use that pace yeah so much better look at this little ball roll He's so much faster as well. What I tried there was tried to get in between the defender and the goalkeeper there because the goalkeeper does a little diving over, like a falling over animation pretty much. And I would have had like a wide open goal. But yeah, his pace seems a bit faster as well, which is, I wouldn't say surprising because it did obviously get boosted, but I did not expect it to be that fast. Martinez, nice turning. For the gap. Nice. Ball roll again. Great dribbles. I'm going to go for a long shot with that four-star weak fan. It's literally going to go into Rose Z. Aguero to Martinez. There you go. Come on. Get him going. Use that pace down that line. Yeah, he is so much faster, boys. My God, look how fast he is. Going to try to get around him. With that little RB flick. Ball roll again. Oh, can you use your physicals? It is against Wes Morgan, to be fair. We all know how strong Wes Morgan is, so I can't understand. Maybe a quick one-two with an O-top through ball. Nice. Well played. Good touch as well. Going to try to get around that corner. 
He's probably going to read me go down line. Yeah, I knew it. Because I went down line last time. I'm going to go straight through the middle. His dribbling seems so much better. It's ridiculous. Get easy finish. Yeah, well played. Martinez. Double RB flick. Break sure on the corner. Keep going. Use that pace. I'm holding LT now. Nice turn. Oh, one dribbling. Ah, Furlan Mendy was just sticking on me. He, the guy wasn't even like barely controlling Mendy and he was still on me like there was no tomorrow. Those high-low work rates, by the way, I can 100% notice it. Like, he's always on the fullback, no matter what. He's ready to go for those quick counter-attacks. And he's in behind, but then Ferland Mendy is going to catch up to him. Yeah, he is. Ah. Martinez running through the middle. I have moved him into the striker position now, just because I really do want to test how he is in that striker position. And straight off, we're getting a goal with him. Great attacking movement. The fact that he knew when to make that run was literally spot on. All I had to do after that was take it calm, believe in that four-star weak foot, and just hit it towards the near post. Gomez, all the way over to Martinez. He's made a good run, boys, but look at that stamina. Look at the stamina. Inside? No, the stamina made him very slow to kind of turn in that situation. I'm telling you, boys, it's the stamina that is going to kill this card. The fact that they gave him minus five is probably one of the worst things they could have done. Bro, back to Jota. Jota, we'll roll in. Cool Martinez short. Go for that scoop turn. Go for that power shot towards the near post. And we are going to get a goal. Really nice positioning. As I said, I did have to call him short there. But as long as he gets into the position, that's perfectly fine. Martinez on the ball. Ball roll in. A few step overs. Ball roll again. Cut in again. Pass there. Is he going to make a continue run? He is. That's unbelievable. Please go for that shot. No, he's moved the keeper. Oh, oh. Yes, we eventually got there. He moved the keeper. Well played to my opponent for moving the keeper. But what a run it was for Martinez. I needed him to make that run literally spot on. I needed him to do it fast as well. And that's exactly what he did. So I've actually paused the game now to take a look at his stamina. And as you clearly can see, it is low. It is literally in the red. As you clearly can see, 34. Aguero has 51. Pretty much everyone else has got a decent amount of stamina. While Martinez having obviously 75 stamina, it's not looking great. I do want to sub him off, but because of the review, I'm, I'm going to keep him on and see how he does. Martinez plays that ball to Aguero. Fake shot. Double Y. Going to power shot towards the near post. I took it first time. But that's my fault. That is so my fault. It's ridiculous. I wanted to test it, okay? I'm testing a card out. I want to see what he can score, what he can't score. And if he misses those kind of opportunities, I'm going to be real. That's my fault because I could have had literally two or three touches and it would have been perfect. Aguero over to Martinez. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I had to do the Lacroqueta there just to get in between those both defenders. And it was pretty much... Look at that. Oh, come on now. It was pretty much an easy finish. If he misses that, then I don't know what to say because that is literally a guaranteed goal. Nice. Cheeky ball to Aguero. Give it to Martinez. What a run. What a run once again. His movement in that striker position is absolutely unreal, boys. All the way up to Gomez. Gomez to Martinez. Gonna go down. I'm gonna try to use these four star weak foot. Oh my god, boys. I wanna mock it a little bit more. There you go. I made sure my opponent did not know where I was going. What a skill run. Beautiful goal once again. Is this guy gonna leave? He's gone. We scored too many good goals against this guy to him to kind of, you know, just sit there and say, I'm not staying in this. I'm gone. So it is time to review him. Two games played, six goals scored at the zero assist as well. Now, some things never change, do they? Finishing ability still absolutely top tier. And I'm going to say it straight up. This card is better than the 86 in form. You are going to take the hit on the chin when it comes down to stamina with that minus five stamina. But trust me, it is worth it. The dribbling, the pace is so much better. And he still has these really, really good finishing ability. And I didn't notice that big of a difference when it came down to physicals either way. Now, is he worth the 417k? I'm going to say he is worth it because he definitely does feel like a player that is worth that amount. But once again, just make sure you have a super sub for this guy because 75 stamina, it only lasted till like the 75th minute to pretty much. So just make sure you have a really good super sub for this guy because if you don't, he ain't going to last for the whole 90 minutes. I'm going to tell you right now. Moving over to pace, I'm going to give his pace, I would say a 9.1 out of 10. A huge improvement when it came down to comparing the 86 in form to this, to this card. Shooting ability, pretty much the exact same. 
I'm going to be real. He put the ball into the back of net. Same shot power pretty much. Same accuracy. Some things never change when it comes down to shooting with Martinez. So I am going to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10 for shooting. Passing ability. Still the same crap. It really, really is. I'm going to give him a 6.5. Exact same I gave him as he's 86. His passing ability is not good. And I don't understand why. They gave him a plus 5 on the actual card. But it didn't even touch short passing and long passing. Actually, I think they did. They touched short passing by like, what, minus one? And they gave long passing a plus one. Yeah, that's my reaction to it. No words. No words at all. Moving over to the dribbling. He was much better at dribbling. I must admit, much, much better. To the point where I have to give him a 9 out of 10 for dribbling. Very agile. Keeping that ball very close to his feet. Very responsive. You love to see it. Physicals. As I said, I didn't notice that much of a difference. Strength and aggression was pretty much the exact same. The only thing you're going to notice when it comes down to physicals is the stamina. So I have to give him obviously a lower rating than I did with his 86. But if we're talking about strength and aggression, I would, I would have gave him the same rating. But because of stamina, I'm going to drop it down to like an 8.6 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him an 8.7 to an 8.8 .8 out of 10. He's the real deal. He is the real deal. He is very agile. Great shooting. Great pace. Terrible passing good physicals it's just the stamina that's gonna kill this card i told you guys at the start i'm telling you guys at the end well i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace